Hello, my friends. Thank you for joining me this day. Let's spend a few moments together with our Good Shepherd. I read from Matthew chapter 27, starting with verse 38. At the same time, two criminals were crucified with him, one on the right and one on the left. People who passed by kept insulting him, shaking their heads and saying, You who are going to destroy the temple and rebuild it in three days, save yourself. If you are the Son of God, come down from the cross. In the same way, the chief priests, experts in the law, and elders kept mocking him. They said, He saved others, but he cannot save himself. The physical pain that Jesus endured on the cross must have been beyond excruciating, but it was only made even more agonizing by the ridicule in, and insults of the people. Out of boundless love for these very people, Jesus left the throne of heaven, but instead of the praise of angels, he received the insults of man. Instead of being praised by the heavenly hosts, he was ridiculed by his very creation. In love, he sacrificed himself, but his own people heaped abuse on him and, and shame on him. The Jewish leaders lost all sense of humanity and decorum by insulting his very name. Jesus, which means the Lord saves. And they called out repeatedly, he saves others, but he can't save himself. And yet, wasn't that the whole point? As a child, I used to use the rhyme against bullies. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but names will never hurt me. But that really wasn't very true, was it? It wasn't for me, and I suspect it wasn't true for you either, because their insults and words cut deeper than any knife, and their jeering laughter just twisted that knife a little bit more. The more you love someone, the more it hurts when they rise up against you. The sting is even greater when you are sacrificing yourself for them and they ridicule you for doing it. That's the emotional pain that Jesus was feeling while on the cross. And yet in love, he pays that ultimate price. See, your sins and mine are insulting Jesus. They insult his sacrifice, his forgiveness, his suffering, his death. Our rebellions cut him deeper than any knife could. And yet he endured it all for us. And now through Jesus we are forgiven, redeemed, and not insulted by God, but praised by him. We pray. Jesus Christ, my Savior and Lord, you sought pardon and forgiveness for those who nailed you to the cross and heaped scorn and ridicule on you. Forgive our sins and fill our hearts with faith and gratitude to you and sincere love for one another. Amen. Well, everyone, thank you for joining me today. And remember that your words, your actions, are to praise our glorious Redeemer.